So questions like this should really not give you problems. So this is exponential equation from one of our students on the channel. So we are to solve this equation. And remember, like I would always say, to solve an equation is to find the value of the unknown. So here we are looking for x. All right, so solution. Okay, so what do we do? When you are looking for x, so you try as much as possible to take away every other thing around x. Mathematically correct, not anyhow. So here, 8 is multiplying x. I will need to divide both sides by 8. So if I divide here by 8, I will get x to the power of 2 over 3 equal to divide this by 8. See the way I'm going to write it. 2 over 9 divided by 8. Why did I do that? Because 8 is 8 over 1. So I want to change it to multiplication. And that will give me 1 over 8. And of course, this can reduce here 1, here 4. And that will give me 1 all over 36. And then I know that um, my 1 over 36, I can write as 1 over 6 to the power of 2. That's my 36 which is the same thing as 6 to the power of minus 2, following the rule that says that 1 over x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of minus n. So if you apply that here, you will get this. So now, I will try to see if it is possible to clear these powers here. So for instance, here I have my minus 2 here and minus 2 here. So both of them can cancel out. So minus 2 will cancel minus 2 here, will remain 1, 1. So what you have now is x to the power of 1 over 3 equal to 6 to the power of 1. And 6 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 6. I will now multiply both sides by, or sorry, raise both sides to the power of 3. Why did I do that? So that I can clear out this fraction and immediately my x will stand alone. Therefore, my x is equal to 6 to the power of 3, which is the same thing as 216. And that is the solution. Kindly subscribe to my channel, and I hope the student that sent this question, um, that this makes sense. If you have further questions, you can always contact me again. Bye.